Hi, this is Jan Karp from the Animate Development Team. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use an existing blend rig with uh, Animate. Uh, the rig I've chosen is uh, Sintel Lite, which can be found from the Sintel website. It's currently in the second page, if you scroll down, so you can download it from here. So let's start a blender and load the Sintel Lite file. Now, even though the name is Lite, it's probably a bit heavier than the uh, some other rigs. So, first of all, I only want to be showing Sintel herself and the rig. I'll also want to disable some of the rig controls that we don't need. For example, the root bone and uh, the face controls and the additional hand controls. Now, as I'll be driving all of the motions through Enamate, I won't be using the IK legs at all, so I'll set those weights to zero, and I'll also hide the inverse kinematics controls and show the forward kinematics controls. Uh, in order to make the connection to Enamate, I'll import the uh, the motion capture rig that's uh, in the a file that can be downloaded from enamate.com and I'm going to import all of the objects except for the result armature as the Sintel rig will be the result armature in this case. So let's link those. Now first of all we see that the scaling is way off so let's uh, set the correct scaling somewhere around uh, Sintel size now the scaling doesn't have to be exact as we're going to do some real-time retargeting here but something close close enough will be good and I'll also move it somewhere pretty close but somewhere far enough that I can see how the retargeting is um, coming to work. So let's start retargeting and we're going to do that by using bone, con bone constraints and first of all let's uh, set the location constraint with the torso. So let's add a copy location constraint and we'll copy the location from the capture armatures torso. So there we go. Now the sensor's location is always determined by by the uh, capture armatures location. Next, let's set the rotation by a copy rotation constraint, and let's uh, copy the same torso bone from the capture armature. Now here we see a problem: uh, the rotation is not uh, the same for the sensor's rig and the capture armchairs rig. So all we need to do is uh, figure out which of these invert buttons corrects this situation and it seems to be the X one. Next let's uh, copy the rotation of this uh, upper body bone and we can use the same rotation as the torso also for this one. So capture armchair and torso there we go. Now we can get started with the hands. So for the shoulder, I'll add a copy rotation constraint again from the capture armchair. And it's the left arm that we're going to use. Then the forearm, again a copy rotation constraint. Left forearm. And then the same things to the right side. Okay, then we can move on to the legs. Uh, so, similarly, from the capture armchair, now I'm going to go that to the 
uh, right thigh. But here we see a problem. Uh, the rotation is uh, different in the Sintel rig and the capture armature. So now we actually need to go into the capture armature in edit mode, select this bone, and adjust the roll value here. Now it seems that uh, it's about 180 degrees wrong, so I'll just set this to 180, and the problem's fixed. Let's move on to the uh, leg. So from capture armchair uh, to the right leg. Now here's the same problem, so let's just go again into edit mode and set the same 180 degrees rotation. Now we'll run into the same problem with these bones on the left side, so let's just straight away set these rotations to 180 degrees. And now we can just set the copper rotation constraints to the left side. And there we go. Now we can start uh, animate and see actually how this works. Let's also enable the animate uh, add-on. And we can start listening straight away. And I'll load up the motion capture and bunny configuration that can be also downloaded from animate.com, apply the changes, and then let's, let's try this out. Now the rig is pretty heavy, so the motions aren't as smooth as with the lighter rig, but as you can see, it works pretty nicely. So thanks for watching, and bye bye.